Hey, welcome to the Rogue Roundabout right here in Conway. Now, this is a really unique culinary destination that serves up some nostalgia, but with a twist, or I guess you could say a roundabout kind of way. Now, this place is as special as the hundreds of locals who donated to a Kickstarter campaign, all in hopes of turning a dream into the reality that it is today. What do you say? Let's go eat it up. Uh, Rogue Roundabout is a dry county microbrewery with restaurant. Uh, we focus on craft beverages, craft food, and a craft experience for downtown Conway. We're talking to some friends, and the, the idea came up. We wrote a business plan, we wrote a concept, and then we worked our way forward. Well, initially, we started looking at about a $25,000 Kickstarter campaign, and then my lovely wife uh, uh, effectively changed that the night that we published it to 50. We hit 50 really quickly. We were very thankful to, for the support that we got from the, the Conway and the surrounding communities. When I was creating this menu was to bring classic dishes to life again. A lot of our menu items are family recipes that I've just kind of tweaked over the years, locally sourced as possible. All our sauces, dressings are all made from scratch and house. So there's a little bit of something for everybody. We really wanted to find something that was clean, open, family friendly, uh, thus the focus on beer, but also non-alcoholic coffee options. Our customers really enjoy what we're doing. This year we're gonna focus on wines and working on cocktails. Right now we're working on a pineapple wine, a jalapeno lime wine is gonna be our next uh, production. But we're always looking forward to the, the, the next step. Y'all, I am so excited to dig into this grub. It smells so good. One of the biggest sellers is the Reuben. And look, I love trying a Reuben anywhere I go. This one's loaded with everything you could possibly imagine. So good. But there's just a, just a hint of a little sweetness in there too. It's huge. You guys know I love duck. I love duck hunting. I want to try some of these duck wings. The richness of the sauce, the hardiness of the duck meat itself. I don't know if I'd ever eat a chicken wing again after having a duck wing. Really good. Really good. Okay, I'm working up a little bit of a, a thirst that I have to quench with some Country Club Cerveza, named appropriately after a local street here in Conway. That's some fresh brew. Maybe I am a dark beer snob after all. Welcome to Draft and Table, one of the newest restaurants right here in North Little Rock's Argenta community. Now offering an atmosphere that's upscale yet inviting, paired with a menu that I dare say you're just not going to find anywhere else. This is an experience. What do you say? Let's go eat it up. Draft and Table is a concept that my friend Scott Landers and I came up with uh, June of last year. Uh, we just we really wanted a place where people could have an elevated dining experience, but still feel comfortable and welcome. I love Argenta, you know, so being from Capeo, six years of my career as a chef have been right here on this block. I know the demographic very well. I'm, we're here for each other. And that's something that's very important to me because that's, that's the way that it should be. How would you describe the menu? So we call it American Fair. Growing up, we ate rabbit as a kid. I don't see rabbit on menus very often. I wanted that to be on there. The state being the, like a duck hunting capital of America, like I don't feel like people eat enough ducks. So I wanted that to be on there. Walleye, something that you usually only think about, you know, up in the Great Lakes. A lot of people don't know that they're actually native here in Arkansas and Greer's Ferry as well. So it's just, uh, it's a really good collection of a lot of life experiences for me, a lot of things that are special, a lot of things that I just really wanted to share with people. Well, we're gonna start with the espresso martini. Okay. It's one of the cocktails we have on our featured drink list and I think it's great. I've been asked, how long do you shake this cocktail? Yeah. 15 seconds. Till it starts to burn. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Pour it off the ice. Sure. Anything other than three is unlucky. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is a healthy alternative. The roasted vegetables, but they taste so good, so superior. Oh, now on a cold winter day, that's that's good. It turns out I really like French onion soup. It's soup season, folks. It's soup season. The armadillo eggs are apparently like nearly selling out every single day. This is a full meal. Oh my gosh, it is hefty. The sausage itself stuffed with the jalapeno, the cream cheese, the blueberry cream on top. This is good. That's a treat. Loaded walleye sandwich. Who knew? Walleye in Arkansas.
You know, when you grow up the son of two chefs, you probably spend a lot of time in the kitchen. And as you would expect, you pick up a thing or two. Now, that's part of the story behind this place, Different Dough Pizza Co. right here in Bryant. What makes this pizza so different? Well, it turns out a part of the answer to that question is a lot of love for pizza and a lot of love for Bryant. I hope you're hungry. It's time to eat it up. Different Dough Pizza Co. opened on May 31st, 2023. Everyone in my family is here. This is a community that I love to be in. My family has a lot of influence on everything I do. Uh, I get my passion of pizza from my dad and my mom, and then I get my passion for family from my grandpa. Thumbs up logo is my grandpa's thumb, actually. In any situation, he always gave thumbs up to us. So this is a home for me and whoever walks in the door. Uh, and that's what we try to build here. When someone comes in and says, hey, I'm, I worked however many hours and I'm coming to spend my money with you. Uh, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna get emotional with this, but truly, truly heartwarming, especially when it's in the community. I'm about pizza and I want the best pizza that I can make. I offer two styles, a New York style and a Detroit style. The New York styles think of like your classic American slice. The Detroit style on the other hand is a pan pizza. The cheese will caramelize around the edge so you have no like true crust of the pizza, it's all underneath. Brian, the smell is just off the charts, but I gotta know, what makes it so different? The dough takes two and a half hours to make itself, just for the batch of dough. Okay. From there, it's in the refrigerator for 48 hours before it's even considered to be bald, and it's there for another 24 hours before we are ready to use it. To me, that sounds like you're making bread, not dough. It is far more of a bread technique versus your standard pizza technique. I, I believe a longer fermentation will allow a better tasting pizza, and it also allows me to make it more digestible for the individual eating it. And it allows you to eat more without feeling as full. I'd say that's different. Yes, it is. I have the cup and comb, and the reason it's called cup and comb, you think of honeycomb, well, there's actually a little bit of honey drizzled on top of this. <laughs> honey honey drizzled on top of this, so let's give it a shot. That's special. So next up, we've got to try the Parma. Now I'm told this one is an experience. Your taste buds are going to be busy. Sorry, I zoned out. And I forgot I was actually supposed to be telling you something about this pizza. It's really good. Hey, welcome to Coffee with the Cause. This is a really unique locally owned coffee shop where sure, you can get your caffeine fix, but you're also going to be giving back to your local community at the exact same time. That's right, today, one cup of coffee at a time, we're gonna change the world. What do you say? Let's go eat it up. Coffee with the Cause is a local coffee shop uh, that is focused on community, bringing community together, trying to support local nonprofits and charities and just provide a, a good, safe place for people to gather, have good conversation and, and good food and get them on their way to work on time. This is birthed from the nonprofit background. So while I was running the rescue mission, so much of my day, every single day was spent just trying to find items to keep the men alive that I wasn't able to spend as much time teaching and counseling with them as I wanted. So I've come up with an idea that if businesses would just help offset something for a month at a time, then we could focus on what we're passionate about. And I couldn't find a whole lot of options for that, so I just started it myself, and collecting the donations for them, 10% um, of our profits from every last Saturday of every month. Um, and then also in-kind donations uh, collected for them. So Enjoying some good locally brewed coffee while also supporting a good purpose at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Biggest thing I would like people to know is that we care. There's not a day that goes by that we don't try to give back. The standard of our service, the standard of our quality of our product uh, matters to us and we try our best to always put our best foot forward and, and uh, allow them to do the same for whatever it is that they're going to do that day. All right, so of course they're brewing up some really good coffee right here in downtown Benton, but they also have a pretty good food menu too. I chose the Sweet Baby Cakes. Jared tells me it's one of their top sellers. It's like mini little pancakes, bananas, strawberries, tres leche sauce, dynamite. All right, so one of the big top sellers here is also the Crook Madame. It's a sourdough sandwich. You got bechamel, ham, Gruyere cheese, and then they serve a nice egg right on top. Swiss eggs. Why are the Swiss's eggs any different than our eggs? I, I don't know. We'll see that. 
Sweet baby cakes. Mm, they're literally just I ain't afraid. That was five second waste. No bite. No five second bite waste today. It was very good, but what warms your heart is not the coffee, it's right. just the purpose behind it. They continuously give back. They've been around about 10 years mm -hmm. uh, and they are growing pretty quickly. In fact, they just expanded uh, across the street there in downtown Benton. They offer some coffee tastings. That's where they, they roast their own beans, which Ooh, is really cool. They'll neat. teach you about it, the origins. Uh, really neat stuff there happening in Sling County. I wonder if you can get like a flight. You know, you can get like a flight of beer at a brewery. Yeah, maybe like a like little a flight of coffee flight. if you yeah, wanted to try it. Cool. Yeah. Like a darker brew and then maybe a light or sure, a blonde sure. or something. But the food there looks amazing. Oh, you know, you go to a coffee shop and you expect the coffee to be the, the star of the show. The food <laughs> was really good. The food was really Trace good. Leche, so that, that was, just sounds That was super amazing. sweet, really good. But the savory uh, sandwiches were, mm. were pretty darn special as Can well. Can I ask you a personal mm. question? Oh, sure. So I know we saw the little ones right there. Mm -hmm. How many could you throw down? I mean, they piled them on the plate. <laughs> you're, you're getting your money's worth for sure. Yeah. I, I, I got through them. I mean, I, I it, you, it took some work, but I'm, we got I'm there. Looking, I'm looking at 25 easy. <laughs> and oh, a nap after 25 easy. easy. And I wouldn't even feel bad about it. No. I love it. Hey, you can do it. It's for a Give great a cause. Yeah. My belly. Yeah. <laughs>